in truth, guards almost never make a mistake when it comes to the statute of limitations. Because when I was in a job, that was one thing that would burn into your head. If you messed up on a drink driving or a drug driving case or a serious case because of the statute of limitations, you'd be writing on that one till the cows come home. Like, they would never let you forget that one. You'd be in trouble. So the statute of limitations is something that's always at the front of your mind. You don't forget that. So in truth, they almost never uh, miss the statute. What do you recommend people wear? Like, should people dress formally going to court? Always dress formally. Always dress like you're going for a job interview, yeah, for sure. Um, it always ama amazes me. Judges are like you or me, they're, they're judges. They do judge you uh, unconsciously on your attire. If you turn up to court wearing t-shirts, runners, jeans, it shows two things. Number one, you're not really serious. And number two, uh, it shows a little bit of disrespect for the court, and they don't like that. Okay, they don't like that. There's enough people coming to court every day dressed in tracksuits, or who don't care, without you being that person too. If you want to have credibility with the court, if you want them to believe you, you should dress like a person uh, who they should believe. If somebody contacts you who's been charged with drink driving or drug driving. Talk us through the process, what happens between you and that person. Well, first of all, I ask them, have they been uh, charged or not? If they have been charged, then there's a date coming up quite soon, in the next 30 days, where we're gonna have to get someone into court uh, and to get the case adjourned. Every case that comes into court is adjourned for about six weeks to eight weeks, six or eight weeks, because the, every drink driving and drug driving case involves a, a number of guards, Statements, statements take a while to put together, documentary evidence, all that kind of stuff. And that doesn't, that won't be delivered on the first day in court, it'll take a couple of weeks. So when you come in on the first day, and it's adjourned for about eight weeks, in between those two dates, the statements should be sent to your solicitor in that time. So the first thing you, you do is to find out have they been charged. If they have, then you've got to get court organised straight away. Do people lie in court? Yeah. Do guards lie? Some do, most don't, most don't. Any of the ones that I, I, I would, I would uh, have hung around with or worked with in, in my time didn't, but we always knew some that would, yeah. They would, they will, they will rationalize, why they do it is any number of reasons. They'll rationalize it in their own head. I know this person's guilty, so I know it's true. So I have to do what I have to do to make sure that that result is, is achieved no matter what. Some think that way, that, that, that's a minority but the majority wouldn't do that. And the um, majority are quite fair in court. But there is a minority of them who have no problem. They will lie like birds sing. No issue at all. <laughs>